Salvatore Ganacci is a Bosnian DJ and music producer who has dabbled in a bit of everything in the EDM scene, from house, mumbaton, to Balkan dancehall. Yes, that's a real thing. You have a problem, give us a car. Hey! Festival trap and big room. But Salvatore is starting to come into his own now. Songs like Horse and Step Grandma give more clear ideas of who he is as an artist and what he has to say. A big part of his appeal is how he has presented himself from wacky live performances at Tomorrowland to quirky music videos that don't take itself too seriously, combined with a sensual European aesthetic, which is also quite unique in the EDM scene. I would say it's this stylistic approach that has helped him make a name for himself, and tracks like Horse are a great combination of that visual style melding with his music. Which, fun fact, he won a Grammys for, not to be confused with Grammys, a Grammys. Crafting a whole brand identity is beyond the scope of this video, but it's an important part worth mentioning as it does tie a lot of Ganache's music together. Otherwise, you have a track like Boycicle next to Heartface on the same EP, two very different songs. It makes it a lot harder to put his music into a box and consequently, it makes making this video a lot harder to make, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Let's take a look at two recent songs of his, Horse and Heart Bass, featuring Estonian rapper Tommy Cash, again, kinda on brand. At its core is the kick and bass combo, where you have an offbeat bass staying on one note for quite a long time. Reminds me of Eurodance, but the bass is more donkey in a way, kind of like Russian hard bass. Oh, I get it. Hard bass, heart bass. Very clever, Sal. To get that donk bass, I am FMing sine waves together. What really makes this sound is the fact that the sine wave I'm using to FM is actually two octaves higher than the FM'd sine wave. I also layered it with a low pass sawtooth for some extra bass. I got it to sound like the main bass from Horse and also the melodic chorus and heart bass. tell that the main bass and heart bass is a variation of this but a bit deeper sounding. Both of these tracks have your standard house beat but at a lot faster tempos too. Heart bass is at 140 and horse is 146. Both songs have a prominent vocal sample with horse having the ooh, ah, ooh, ah, and heart bass just having the ah, 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 ah. I took a vocal and stretched it out to give it some grainy artifacts. I noticed this reverb metallic donk sound in a few different tracks. I can't really tell what this is, but I just made a variation of the bass that I already had and then just FM'd it a little bit more and made it to make it brighter and add some reverb and high past it. Step Grandma and interest in sports have similar piano-y chords that are very choppy. Da, 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 da. I think Step Grandma has a piano with a phaser on. If not, it's very similar, so I did that too. Step Grandma and Fight Dirty both feature samples. Step Grandma has a sample from Swedish song Hala May. which was entered in Melodi Festivalen in 2005, which is Sweden's annual song festival to see which song goes into the Eurovision Song Contest. Very on brand. Fight Dirty has a sample from a 1985 anime soundtrack, the song being called Dirty Fight. I wanted to find a European pot track that I could sample. And what could be more fitting than Salvatore's old Balkan dancehall group? Wow, what a cool and epic 8 bar idea. If only there was a way to turn an 8 bar beat into a fully arranged track instantly. Oh wait, 
Didn't I spend a year of my life designing and programming a website that generates song templates from many different genres that you can open up in a DAW and then convert to Ableton 5 to Apple Studio and vice versa, and recently added the ability to rearrange project files into full tracks? Ah uh, yeah, doy. I'm such a doofus, I can't believe I just let that slip my mind. Ooh, what am I like? So yeah, to use the rearranger, I need an 8-bar loop. I actually had a draft arrangement, but the rearranger currently only works with up to 8 bars, so I'm just going to take the busiest 8 bars here. I'm also going to add markers to highlight the area I want to work with, plus give names to the tracks so Jukebox knows what it is. If you don't name things or add markers, it has to take a guess, which might give you a weird result. And that's it. Then drag onto the site and rearrange. I don't have a Salvatore Ganacci genre, so I'll just use house instead. I'm also going to keep the original arrangement. And this is it. This is what Jukebox has generated. I have not touched this at all. I think it's pretty decent. You never really know how it's going to turn out, but this is usable. It has an intro, breakdown, drop section. I like how the chords don't come in straight away, so there's initially emphasis on the bass. That's good. Uh, the breakdown's a little empty though, so I'm just gonna use like the riser from my draft arrangement. I wasn't planning on turning this into a full track, but if I was, I'd probably high pass the drums in the intro at a minimum. And uh, this is it. Now let's take a listen. Another how-to tutorial done. I sure hope you thoroughly enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed making it, and I sure hope you smashed that like button. I know if you didn't. I'd like to thank my Patreon subscribers who have continued to support me despite not making any tutorial content for almost a year. Despite that, I have been constantly working on my website, Jukeblocks, for the last year, adding features or fixing problems. I wanted it to be the best that it could be. But because I spent so long not making videos on music, it was really hard getting back into that. Which is ironic, because it was supposed to help me make music. Life is funny like that sometimes. Anyways, I have some more videos already in the works, and I hope to see you there too.